Hey guys and welcome back. Today I wanted to go over FS Dream Team's GSX Pro 3. This is a new update that was just released uh, about a day or two ago and honestly this is one of my favorite add-ons for the Microsoft Flight Sim. So if you guys haven't used this before this is an add-on that you add to the sim and it gives you uh, pushback options, it gives you animated passengers, refueling services, de-icing, um, follow me cars, uh, the loading of baggage, cargo loading, uh, catering services, and even the replacement jetways. So there's a lot of customizable options and they give you tons and tons of stuff in there which is great. It just helps with the immersion. So with this new update now, they actually have the option to have seated passengers in your plane and for the duration of your flight, which is really awesome. Plus they have the stewardess where they have, uh, I can't remember how many hundred uh, uniforms for different varieties of liveries or, or companies. So let's take a look and see where you can download the software and how it actually works. So what you want to do is you want to head over to www.fsdreamteam.com. You'll be greeted with this home page. And then you want to click on products and downloads. And if you're using Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, you're going to want to click on this first link. And then you're going to see here GSX Pro. So if you click on info or buy now, it'll take you to the page. Um, but here again, you can see all the information as to what uh, it offers. And then if you want to buy it, you're going to click on buy for MSF 2020. And then you're going to be greeted here with your payment page. Okay, once you've purchased the software and you've done the download, you're going to have a little icon on your desktop that's called FSDT installer. And when you open that, you're going to get this little window. And some important things you guys have to note here. So the first one, it says GSX Pro Ground Services and it's going to give you a version. So if you already have this installed, you just want to click on the check for an update or if it says update, you're going to want to update software, but you want to make sure that you're on the latest. So right now it's 3.0.4. If this is new, it's obviously just going to tell you to install or you may have an older version that just needs to be updated. Once you've done the update or install, it's very important to go over here to the config and once you click the configuration to get the seated passenger option, because it is an optional uh, service, you have to come in here and you have to check mark a box for here, Phoenix A320. So it says here seated passengers. This box has to be check marked. If you don't check mark this, they're not going to show up and sit in your plane. You'll still see them boarding, but they won't stay there. And as of right now, as far as I know, it's only available on the Phoenix A320. If you have that aircraft, um, you're able to use that service. If not, I think you're just going to have to wait a little bit until more airplanes get added to this list. So once you have it check marked, you can exit this and go into the sim and we'll start a, a flight now and just see how it works. So when you want to start your flight, um, in order to board the aircraft correctly, you're probably going to want to be stationed at one of the parking spots or at a gate. Um, so for this purpose or this demonstration, we're just going to take off from LPPR. And I'm just going to pick, for example, this parking location here. And then you would normally just do your flight path as normal. So we'll go to LPPT. And we can just do the arrival. We'll take a look at where it wants us to land. So based off weather, we're looking at runway 02. And we can just do high altitude. And we'll do 02. And I know this has all been updated, so let's try this one here. Let's see how that looks. Okay. So once you have your flight plan all done, we can start sim and go for a little flight okay guys so here we are inside the cabin of the a320 from phoenix so guys go easy on me don't judge me i'm not a real pilot 
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go through this as uh, quickly as I possibly can and I'll share some uh, insight on my experience using this a couple of times uh, because there are some things that I've noticed uh, that'll keep you guys from making the same mistakes I did. So as of right now we're in the cockpit and I have it in a state of not uh, cold or dark because the aircraft is on but the engines are off because that's the only way that you can get the GSX to run. So with the engines off, uh, battery and hydraulics and everything are still operational. I'm just using the, uh, the power unit inside the tablet. So if you go here, you want to turn on the GPU external, as you can see here. And once you have that power unit connected, you're going to want to go over here and you're going to see external power is available. You're going to click on this and then you can turn off your engines at least. So now to start with the GSX, what you want to do is you want to go up to the top of the screen and in your toolbar you're going to see the option here for GSX main menu. Um, you're going to have to click on this one. Sometimes you have to click on it twice if it's highlighted. I don't know why they haven't fixed this one yet, but um, once you get this menu, uh, here's all your options. So you have request boarding, request catering service, refueling, boarding, pushback, uh, jetways, um, so we're just outside of Porto Airport and we're in one of the parking spots so we don't have a jetway which is fine we can still use the air stairs so we're going to first request catering service and then it gives you the option for what is the operator so it automatically gives you uh, the one it thinks is best catering suited for your aircraft are on their way that you can pick whichever one you want and then you're going to hear some voice prompts telling you uh, what the next step is or if they're on their way. So once they arrive at your aircraft you're going to see they're going to pull up and they're going to extend the little walkway and your doors will automatically open. Now this does have a little NPC that'll walk out and walk in and out of the aircraft with their catering carts but this doesn't affect your, your weight or payload or anything like that, so I'm just going to leave it on so you can see at least the animations. And like I said, this will this will happen at the front of the aircraft and also at the back. You see the back door there and I'll swing around in a second once this one comes out. Alright, we'll swing it around to the back. is enjoying his job. Okay, now you see it's giving me a warning that I have to close the doors. I don't have to. If I look at my tablet, the doors have already closed on their own. And if I look on the outside, there you go. So catering just finished and now we're going to move on to the boarding. So before we board the plane, I just wanted to let you guys see something because I missed this in the beginning and I wasn't able to load the aircraft correctly. If you go into the tablet and you click on the first little icon here and you go into mass and balance, this is a picture of your airplane and it shows you how many seats are going to be used up. As of right now, we have zero. You can put in here whatever you want. You can put in 180, 150. Um, this is also for cargo and this is for fuel. But this doesn't really work, I find. And you see, this is just planned. This is not what's actually in the aircraft. So if I was to start the boarding process now, I think it just puts in like 15 people or, or something like 10 people. It's something very minimal. Whatever you have in your MCDU programmed is what it's gonna put in. So, I realize you have to come down here to the MCDU. You're going to want to click on Config. And then here you have your fuel weights, your passenger weights, and your cargo. 
So you got to fill this out before you start the boarding process. So here, load passengers, right now it's at zero. I'm going to fill up the aircraft, so I'm going to put in 180. And once I do that, cargo and load, um, not really too concerned about it. I'm going to just leave it like that. You're going to see they're going to bring in a minimal amount of load. It'll just speed it up a little bit. So here's your passenger weights. And if I go back over here now, you see all of them have been filled. So sometimes I notice that when I click on this send to MCDU, this, even though I put in 180, I end up getting 157. So there's a discrepancy in between GSX and what the system is actually showing. So I find if I don't touch this and just leave it as it is right now, like just put in the MCDU and I see that all the seats are highlighted, we'll start the boarding process now and see if it puts in all 180. So again, you're going to open up the GSX menu. Now you're going to want to click on request boarding. Boarding requested. And again, they're going to ask you who is the handling operator. We're going to still go with the portway. And if we look back outside. You'll see that since we are not near the, uh, the gate, we're going to get the stairs. And here we're going to have the, uh, the conveyor belt for the cargo. Now you're going to get the message here waiting for you to open the app cargo and forward cargo. So the way to do that is you got to go back into your tablet and you're going to load to ground services and then here you have the option to open the forward cargo and the aft cargo. The main doors on the left um, those are going to open automatically as soon as the stairs connect. Do you want to board crew? So now it's asking, do you want to board the crew? You're going to say nobody, just the crew, pilots, or both. I'm going to say both. The bus is coming. And we should shortly see a little bus that's going to come and bring the pilots and the stewardess. And you can see the service is very quick. Here comes the bus. Now when it comes to the stewardess, uh, this program now has a couple of hundred options in terms of their uniforms and they're meant to have uniforms that match seven. the aircraft's uh, livery or company. So in this case we're using TAP, which is primarily green and red. So we'll take a look in a couple minutes to see what the stewardess uniform looks like and see if they matched it with the, with the aircraft. So there's the pilot's boarding. Boarding starting. And then there's the stewardess on their way down. While they come on board, we're going to take a look here at these guys loading the luggage. So the animations are pretty fluid, looks really nice. I think they did a great job. The frame rates are not really being impacted on the exterior, there isn't that much. But it just adds to the immersion and it looks really good. And we'll swing back around again. We're going to take a look. There's a stewardess centering the aircraft. And now you can even see them actually in the front door there. Um, now their bus should go away the and then we should start seeing coming. the passenger bus. That green bus approaching now, that's the passenger's bus. Now it's not perfect, obviously you can see them going through each other, um, but normally you would be in the cockpit so you wouldn't even notice. So while they get ready to start boarding the passengers, I'm just going to take passengers a look around here. Starting. 
So you can see the stewardess is already in there. And the passengers, once they come in, you're going to start seeing them come through the aircraft and taking their seats. This way, please. You'll notice also that the stewardess uh, do speak multiple languages um, and they do have different voices that they use. So it's not always the same recording over and over again. And you'll know if you did this correctly because on the top right here, you, when you see that little message show up, um, it'll tell you how many passengers you have. In this case, even though I only put 180, it's still giving me 157, so I'm not sure why that is. I get this discrepancy quite a bit, um, so maybe it's just a bug. Maybe they'll fix that for the next release. So as we take a look from the outside, you'll see it's pretty busy. We got the people working on the right side of the aircraft, and all the passengers loading in from the left. And these buses, they load, they load a lot of people. So you can be here for quite some time. Um, it is set up to be realistic, so you just kind of look at the percentage and see kind of where you're at with that. But while we're loading these passengers and they're finishing up with the baggage, we can pretty much uh, start prepping the plane for the flight. Welcome me on board. Now I'm going to go through this very quickly just to kind of get us going, and hopefully I'll finish by the time they're set and ready to go. So guys, I just wanted to take a look at the stewardess. So you can see that their uniforms are black and they have stripes on them which are green and red. And that actually matches the TAP logo. So they did a really good job of making sure that they match the uh, aircraft liveries. So once the cabin is uh, full and everybody's seated, we're just going to take a quick little walk, make sure everybody's good. And then we can go ahead and start our trip. And I believe at this point here, once they move over into the corner, yep, there's two of them. So once they've moved over here, we're pretty much complete. There we go, boarding is complete. So because I didn't put in 180, you'll see there are still some spaces that are left empty. Um, but for the most part, I mean, the aircraft is pretty full. So we'll just take a quick little look. And I really like the fact that uh, there's a lot of new animations and that these, uh, these characters all are doing something different. They're not all doing the same thing. And you'll see that more on the way back. Um, here you just kind of see their faces. But we'll stop about here. We'll take a quick little turn around. And you'll see like this person is on her cell phone. And as we walk up, this young gentleman here is playing on his Nintendo Switch. Um, some people are, I know, drinking a beverage, like this gentleman here. He's drinking a Coke, it looks like, or a soda. And then there's other passengers, normally, that are reading books. Uh, this gentleman here is on his iPad. So they've done a really good job of uh, randomizing and making sure that it looks and feels as realistic as possible. All right, so everything looks good. We're going to get in and we're going to start the pushback and engine start and then we're good to start our trip. So now we want to start the preparing for pushback and departure. It's been requested. If I look outside, there goes the stairs. And we should get the tug coming in any second. This airport is really busy today. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. We got a guy with an accent here. I believe he's going to go in and insert the bypass pin. Uh, we still have the doors open, so I forgot about this. We got to close those doors. 
Good thing I checked. And this is why we follow checks your complete. checklist. Bye bye, spinning circuit. Here we go. Doors are closed and locked. And here comes the tug. And again, they have different types of machinery. Like this is one form of tug where it has the pulling pole. And there's other ones that'll actually lift your front wheel and pull the whole aircraft. Uh, I think those are for larger aircraft maybe. But I have seen them use it on uh, the A320s as well. Okay, so now they're asking you what's the direction you want. So we want our nose, uh, let's see, we want our nose to the left and tail to the right. Hey, Lizzie, parking brakes, please. I'll release the parking brake. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at wheel. Okay. So, as of right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the engines. Cabin crew, arm doors and cross check. Doors at this point should be locked. So, one uh, feature guys, just so you know, if you actually close this uh, door, Ladies and gentlemen, please observe it stops from rendering the passengers in the back and it'll give you better frame rates. So just in case you guys were having bad frame rates just close that door and you'll see a big difference at least until you get up in the air because you know that the sim has to render so much information right now including the airport uh, the aircraft Ladies and systems and welcome aboard our Airbus A320 so Please this will help attention to illuminated signs and crew instructions including the following safety procedures the safety card found in your seat pocket contains important information So we can also use the drone camera to see what they look like on the exterior of the plane. Let's just kind of go up nice and close. And you can see them from the exterior. I know it's not very clear, but you can see they're all seated. Uh, let's see if we can get some, oh, there's some clear images here. This person's reading a book. How cool is that? There's our pilots. Alright guys, so that brings us to the end of the flight. I hope you guys had a good time and enjoyed. As always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.